In the heart of San Francisco, near the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, the story of Sydney Caitlin West unfolded, capturing the nation's attention and concern. Sydney Caitlin West, a vibrant young woman, vanished, leaving a trail of unanswered questions and a community in distress. Known as Sid, her disappearance has become a poignant mystery, touching not only those close to her, but also a wider audience intrigued and saddened by the case. Welcome to As Told by Bells, where mysteries unfold, the bizarre becomes reality, and strange stories come to life. I'm Bells, your guide into the world of the unexplained. Every Sunday, we'll delve into unsolved mysteries that continue to baffle and tales so bizarre you won't believe they actually happened. To stay in the loop with every captivating story, make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and ring that notification bell. Trust me, you don't want to miss a single episode of these extraordinary stories we're about to unravel. Now let the storytelling begin. Cindy was born on July 11, 2001 in Walnut Creek, California to Jay and Kimberly West. She spent her childhood in Castro Valley before moving to Pleasanton, California. Alongside a loving sister, Cindy enjoyed a life filled with compassion, demonstrated through her cherished moments for her dogs, reflecting her kind and caring nature. Sydney's vibrant personality shone brightly during her school years. She attended Foothill High School in Pleasanton, where she was not just a student, but an active member and co-captain of the varsity volleyball team. Her passion and leadership on the court were unmistakable. After moving to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, she graduated from Carborough High School in 2019, leaving her mark as an energetic and ambitious individual. The next chapter of Sydney's life began with her relocation to the San Francisco Bay Area, a move driven by her quest for new experiences and opportunities. Sydney was not just athletically gifted, she possessed a profound artistic streak, especially in music. Her ability to express creativity through writing, recording, and performing her songs was a reflection of her deep connection to the art form. Beyond her artistic and athletic talents, Sydney had a strong passion for animal welfare and environmental conservation, showcasing her concern for the world around her. The year 2020 posed unforeseen challenges for everyone, including Sydney. That summer, before beginning her freshman year of college, Sydney suffered a severe concussion from a 15 to 16 feet jump off a boat storage roof at a lake in North Carolina. This incident likely contributed to her experiencing mood swings and depression. Despite graduating high school and starting her studies at the University of California, Berkeley, the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic forced a shift to online learning, exacerbating her sense of isolation. The combined impact of the pandemic and her concussion posed significant challenges for Sydney. After careful consideration, she and her family decided it would be best for her to pause her studies and plan to resume the following year. Sydney decided to stay with family friends in the Bay Area of California after leaving Berkeley. It was common for her to share her location with her parents, especially since she was across the country from them. On the morning of September 30, 2020, her father woke up to find her location unavailable. Attempts to call and text her went unanswered. Her last known whereabouts, according to her mother's investigation, were near Chrissy Field, close to the Golden Gate Bridge, where she arrived around 6.30 a.m. that day. Sydney was last seen wearing long dark leggings, a teal hoodie sweatshirt, Vans slip-on sneakers with a blue-green tropical print, and her hair tied up in a bun. She was carrying a black backpack, which was later found near the bridge containing personal items and eventually returned to her family. This discovery only deepened the mystery surrounding her disappearance. The San Francisco Police Department conducted an extensive review of video footage from around the bridge on September 30th. 
While they did observe Sydney in the footage, her actions and the foggy conditions made it impossible to determine her exact movements or fate. The police theorized suicide, but without conclusive evidence, this remained a theory among many others. Despite being a bustling area with many potential witnesses, no one reported seeing anything suspicious. In response to Sydney's disappearance, the community, law enforcement, and Coast Guard and volunteers launched a comprehensive search and investigation. Despite their efforts, no significant leads or evidence have surfaced. The lack of clues has been frustrating for both the family and investigators, with the case remaining open and active. Sydney's family has been vocal in their search for answers, expressing their grief and determination to find her or at least understand what happened. Sydney West's disappearance has left an indelible mark on her family, friends, and the broader community. Her story is not just one of loss and mystery, but also a call to action for communities to come together, support those in distress, and remain vigilant. As the search continues, the hope remains that new leads will emerge, offering closure to her loved ones and bringing Sydney home. The reward of $25,000 for information leading to her location and return underscores the urgency and importance of any potential information that the public can provide. The day of Sydney's disappearance was seemingly ordinary, with the early morning fog typical of San Francisco enveloping the Golden Gate Bridge. Yet for Sydney, it marked a significant and mysterious turning point. Her story has sparked conversations about safety, mental health, and the resources needed to support young people facing challenges. Sydney's story is a tragic reminder of the uncertainties that life can bring. It's a call to action for anyone with information, no matter how small or insignificant it might seem, to come forward and help unravel the mystery of Sydney West's disappearance. Her family and friends continue to seek answers, holding on to hope that Sydney will be found or that they will at least learn of her fate. They have developed a website, findsydneywest.com, which serves as a comprehensive resource for gaining insight into the case. On this platform, you can discover detailed information about Sydney, view her photographs, and deepen your understanding of the situation. I'll leave the link to the website in the description. The theories about what happened to Sydney range from the plausible to the speculative. Some suggest that she may have met with foul play, while others believe she may have chosen to start anew elsewhere. The possibility that Sydney may have struggled with personality issues leading to a tragic decision at the bridge cannot be ignored. Each theory reflects the deep human need to find answers and make sense of what seems incomprehensible. Sydney West's disappearance remains a poignant and unresolved mystery that continues to resonate with many. Her story is a call to awareness and action, reminding us of the importance of community, empathy, and vigilance in the face of uncertainty. As the search for Sydney goes on, her spirit and the memories shared with her remain alive in the hearts of those who knew her, inspiring a continued quest for answers and justice in her name. At the time of her disappearance, Sydney was 19 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, 130 pounds, with light brown hair and blue eyes. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the mysteries of the unexplained. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on every captivating story we uncover. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your mind curious. Stay tuned for more stories from As Told by Bell.